What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com. By now most of you have probably used or at least heard of the Swipe software keyboard available for Android. And if you haven't yet, well you'll get to see it in action in this video. Anyway, the guys at Swipe recently updated their popular keyboard to version 3.0 beta and now it includes tap correction, a horizontally scrolling word choice list, and support for Android Honeycomb based tablets. For those of you who want to give it a spin, I'll post download information in the description of this video. So let's check out these new features on this Motorola Zoom tablet. So the coolest thing about Swipe is obviously being able to trace or swipe out uh, your words rather than type each individual letter out independently. So we'll just show you that real quick. So you begin with, let's say I want to type, this is a test, you begin with this is a test. So very fast, very efficient. Uh, once you master it, you get really, really quick at swiping out each word and you don't really have to think much about it. Now obviously the game has changed with these larger screen Android tablets. You have a uh, nice large keyboard uh, and each individual key is actually wider. So you have no problem typing out uh, words independently like that or letters independently. But if you're holding a tablet, it becomes a bit difficult to reach over for some of those letters, especially if you don't have super large hands. Uh, but Swipe has your back here because if you still want to use the Swipe feature, you just press this button down in the corner and it resizes the keyboard for you. And now you can access uh, the swiping feature. And of course you can move this around. So if you want to have it in the middle, you can do that and move it to the left corner as well. So as you can see, you have much more screen real estate now because you have a, a downsized keyboard that you can still use efficiently because of the swipe technology. And of course, you can also scroll with the offhand. So let's just try that out real quick. So this is a test. So obviously that works just as well as say uh, on your smartphone. So those are the uh, resizable movable keyboard features of Swipe 3.0. So one of the more impressive features about swiping out your words is the ability to do so freely. And what I mean by that is you can concentrate more on speed rather than accuracy. So say you're swiping out a word, as long as you uh, swipe in the general vicinity of the key you're aiming for, chances are it's going to recognize that key and therefore recognize the path you're trying to create. And the guys at Swipe actually brought that feature over uh, to traditional tapping. So now you don't only get the benefits of that when you swipe out words, you can actually uh, get those same benefits when you're tapping out words. So again, you can concentrate more on speed uh, over accuracy. Now another new feature is the new word suggestion uh, box where you can scroll over for more choices. So now you're not just restricted to the uh, uh, top five choices up here. Let's try that again. So you can scroll over and tap it out. So very good that they added that in as it gives you more flexibility in choosing your uh, words there. And before we finish off here, let me just show you the different layouts for those of you interested. So here we have our numbers and we have edit. So that about wraps it up there. So this was Swipe 3.0 Beta, and as you just saw, it brings a new method of text input to the table for Honeycomb tablets. I'll post a link for it in the description for those interested. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Android coverage. Thanks for watching.